Adding video clips in Blender is very easy, but there is a few things we need to do to make these clips easier to work with. Welcome to Rocks 3D Studio, I'm Brian, and today I'm going to show you how to add a video clip in Blender and then do a short little process that will make these clips easier to work with, because generally with high-res videos you're going to get a lag in the preview between the video and the audio. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we are in our video editing template layout in Blender that we created in the last video. I will add a link to the description so you can check that out in case you need to do the initial setup for editing videos in Blender. And now there are two ways to add a uh, video clip to the sequencer here at the bottom. The first, you can use the file browser on the left like I have, navigate to your video and then you can left click and drag that down. Or you can use the file menu and click add, then movie, and then again navigate to your video and then hit OK and that will import that into the sequencer. I'm just going to left click and drag mine down. And you can see it adds two clips here. The top, this blue bar, is your video and the bottom, this greenish bar, is your audio. And if you need to see the waveform for your audio, just left click to select your audio clip and then go over here to the right, click the strip tab and then click display waveform. And it might take us a few seconds to load, but it'll show up. Now you can notice that you can't see the end of the video clip and that's just because we're zoomed in. And to navigate around the sequencer, you can use your middle mouse wheel to scroll in and out for your zoom. And then you can hold down the middle mouse button to move it left and right and up and down depending on you know how many clips you have. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and zoom out. So middle mouse wheel, scroll back until you see everything. And then hold down the middle mouse button and just move it over to the center here and we can zoom back in. I'll, I'll work with that. Um, the next thing we need to do is to set the playback range to cover our entire clip. Because right now it is set to 250 frames. And if you were to hit play, it's going to play 250 frames. This is your end frame right here. So it'll play the 250 frames and then loop back but we want this darker line here to extend all the way through our video. So you can just left click and hold this down and just drag it out if you want. Because if you're editing video, your end, end point's gonna be different than what you started with. But I'm gonna just be exact here. Use the total frame count of your video, which is 10690 in this case. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pump this in here. And there we go. So now we have the preview range set. What we want to do is to do a little bit of work here to eliminate any lag because most of your videos are most likely going to be uh, high def. And when you hit the play button, you can usually see a, a lag between the audio and the video. So I'm going to hit play and we'll see what kind of lag we get here. Do you feel like there is a little to no time to do the things that you love that. to do or, or just the things Starts that you lagging, want to so. do? Uh, all of and, and when you uh, go start scrubbing back and forth, it kind of trails behind your cursor a little bit. So it, it, it jumps and starts and it makes it very difficult to work with when you're cutting clips and moving them and adding uh, overlay images and whatnot. So to... Uh, fix this uh, lag we're gonna do a few things here so we want to select both of these clips so left click the video clip hold shift and then left click the audio and on the right side here we have this tab called proxies and cache and we want to create proxy strips for our video basically kind of a compression so it just makes it easier to work with. Uh, the one setting you want to set is the storage should be set to per strip 
and then you can set select selected strip proxies. So that means it will set these strips since they're both selected as proxies. So I'm going to click on that and then it brings up a little window and you can decide how much of a redu reduction you want. I found 50 works just fine. If you have a slower system, 25 uh, will work for you. I'm going to go ahead and just click 50, click OK. And then you can click uh, Rebuild Proxy and Time Code Indices. And this does take a little bit. So I click on that and you can see down here it's building proxies and it might take a little bit. I'll go ahead and, and cut away and then uh, come back when that's finished. Okay, Blender's done creating the proxy clips for the video. There is one final thing we need to do before we move on, and that's to go up here to the preview window, press N on the keyboard to open the tools panel. And under pro uh, proxy render size, we need to set that to the same percentage that we uh, selected before building the proxies. And in my case, it was 50%. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that a bit. And on, now let's see what uh, happened to the lag. Do you feel like there is a little to no time to do the things that you love to do? Or, or just the things that you want to do? Looks good. And now I can click and drag on the scrubber as well, and that moves through easily. And in case you were wondering where uh, the proxy information is saved, uh, that is just saved in the same folder where your video is. So you can see the folder BL proxy is in the same folder with the video that I imported into the sequencer. So that's how you can eliminate the uh, lag in your video clips when you import them into Blender before you edit them. And this comes in especially handy when you have multiple, multiple clips, uh, any image overlays, animation overlays, and things like that. In the next video, we're going to go over how to cut video clips and also how to navigate and manipulate clips within the sequencer itself. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and I am posting uh, new videos every Sunday and Wednesday so please subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified when the new video is uploaded and we'll see you next time. Bye!